Hey, welcome to my channel, May Sweet Treats, and today I'm going to teach you how to make strawberry pound cake. Alright, first we need three sticks of softened butter. If you're anything like me, you forgot to pull it out last night, so you popped it in the microwave. Add three cups of sugar to that, and then we are going to blend it up very well till it's nice and fluffy. Y'all know what fluffy means. Alright, now we're going to crack two eggs and add them. Make sure you mix it up real good because you do not want your pound cake to come out eggy or taste eggs either. Blend it up real good. So here I have um, three cups of sifted cake flour and it's important to sift it so you have a smooth batter. I'm only going to add half right now or a cup and a half of cake flour into my mix and I'm going to blend that up. Now it's key. Once you start adding the cake flour, you do not want to over mix this batter. Okay, so just mix it till it's nice and incorporated and then stop. Okay. More is not better here. Stop. All right, now we are going to add three more eggs to this. Again, this is a pound cake. So it's heavy and that's why we have all these eggs. Now when you're mixing up these eggs, like again, you want to make sure it's nice and incorporated, but do not over mix. We now have that flour in there and you do not want a tough cake. Here we are going to add the other half of that cake flour. Same rules apply. Mix it till it's nice and incorporated. And here is where I add my strawberry pudding. Now I love adding pudding to cakes because it makes it so nice and soft. Um, I'm adding half a pack of strawberry pudding. Next time I will probably do a whole pack of pudding just to make the flavor come through more. But it was still very good, very strawberry. I love this Sonic brand. I get it from Walmart. It's about two dollars but it's really good And I can't help but make a mess while I'm baking. That's why I keep a towel next to me. Add you a pinch of salt in there. I use pink salt as if I need this cake to be healthy and do something better for myself. But I use the Himalayan pink salt. Use regular table salt, whatever salt you want to use. And then one cup of heavy cream or milk. Now, if you want a heavier cake, use the heavy cream i like to use regular milk here i'm adding strawberry preserve i would usually make my own but i can't find strawberries this time i've added in about two tablespoons but i would go with more of four tablespoons if you want more of that strawberry bits in your cake so i would say about four and then we're going to add some food coloring in there, some red food coloring just to jazz it up and make it nice and strawberry looking in your cake. And honestly, you could add more food coloring. Pound cake is heavy and when it came out, it was like this light pink. I wanted more bam in your face pink. So next time I would probably add more, but if you like that like pink, you do that. At this point, I am using a spoon because like I said, you don't want to over mix this batter. So I'm using a spoon just to make sure the color is incorporated, the pudding's incorporated, and then I'm going to stop. Here I am spraying my bunt pan with Baker's Joy and you spray 
the devil out of that pan because I can't tell you how many cakes I done had stick to my bunt pan. You got to spray it to death, okay? Because you want that cake to come out nice, smooth, and clean. Now we are going to pop this in the oven on 350 for an hour, 12, hour, and 15 minutes. Here I'm going to start making the icing. At this point, my cake is out. I'm letting it cool, so I'm going to make the icing. Again with the strawberry preserve, okay? I add two tablespoons here, but in the end, I go back and I add two more tablespoons because I wanted more strawberry bits in my, my um, icing. So it's really up to you how much preserve you use um, and then powdered sugar I eyeballed it but I used about a cup and a half it's um how much icing you want to have on it I like for it to be thick with the icing because you know it drips off and you got to clean up all that mess but I like for my cake to have a good icing coat on the outside of it so go ahead I add about a cup and a half and I'm just gonna blend that up just to see how thick it is initially and add my milk as I go because I like a thicker icing I don't like a runny icing at this point it's very much so preference so I'm using regular milk that's what I had you can use whatever you like to use I'm using the cap so I don't overdo it again I don't want a running icing so right here I'm adding two capfuls I'm gonna mix it up so on and so forth, you get the idea. And this is how I like my icing for pound cakes. Movable yet thick. Create a nice coat around that cake. And that's what I want. So my cake is out, y'all. Y'all see them strawberry bits? She, her pretty. Her pretty because I sprayed that pan to death. So she came out beautiful. Okay. I'm going ahead and I'm going to spoon the icing onto my cake spoonful by spoonful it's gonna be messy that's why i have the foil <music> All right, y'all, this is my strawberry pound cake. Check out my website, www.maysweettreats.com to see all I have to offer. Place an order while you're there. Shipping is available. Um, text 331-208-7767 to order. And if you make this yourself, please comment below because it is so good, y'all. Until next time.